now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. A Rhinelander man has now been arrested tied to the death of Hannah Miller, but he is not the main suspect. Oneida County Sheriff's officials say 24-year-old Seth Wakefield was arrested Friday. He's charged with one count of party to a crime of first-degree intentional homicide and one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree intentional homicide. He's being held in the United County Jail on $100,000 bond. Meanwhile, authorities are still searching for Christopher Terrell Anderson, who was accused of shooting and killing Miller. Miller's body was found near Riverbend Road off Highway 8 east of Rhinelander around 11 last Wednesday morning. Sheriff's officials say they have now also located one of the cars they were looking for, a white PT Cruiser. However, they are still looking for a white 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander. Wisconsin license plate AJR9672. Hodag Festival employees will be working extra hours this week to fix a bathroom on the grounds just days before the huge country music festival is set to kick off. This after a camper crashed into the side of the building. Check it out. Pine Lake Fire Rescue officials say it happened just before two Sunday afternoon. They say the owner of the camper was just trying to move it. The accelerator got stuck and the vehicle hit the building. Firefighters were able to help uh, the ground staff temporarily brace the building so they could remove the camper. Then repairs to the structure could be made. Outside, Jeff, hot and humid today. Yeah, hazy and a bit of smoky out there as well from wildfires across parts of Canada. Now, there's no air quality alerts in effect right now, but you can see the smoke is in the air across north central Wisconsin right now. It's also hot and it's humid. Temperatures hit 91 earlier in Rhinelander, back to 85 right now. Some rain cool air across central Wisconsin currently, as there are a couple of thunder showers out there. We're talking about Marathon County, Wapaka County, Portage County as well, moving southeast now about 25 miles per hour. We'll dry out to the north tonight, but tomorrow potentially heavy rain back in the forecast tomorrow afternoon. Our forecast then for tonight though is partly cloudy skies, rain ending, and kind of muggy with low temperatures down near 63. Your full forecast is coming up. All right, thanks, Jeff. Despite postponing the Project North Festival until 2022 next year, organizers are giving a taste of the future festival by selling Constellation prize boxes. There are two types of boxes you can order. The Ursa Major, a larger box, and the Ursa Minor, you guessed it, a smaller box. The boxes include a variety of local foods, art projects, original Midwestern music, and sustainable goods. The Ursa Major box costs $100, the Ursa Minor $50. There's also a limited edition Constellation Prize t-shirt available for purchase, $25. You can pre-order them at projectnorth.org. Pre-orders end August 6th. You can pick them up September 10th of this year at Art Start in Rhinelander. Many businesses are still recovering from last year's struggles during the pandemic, but one Northwoods organization is trying to help give local business owners a bit of a boost. Rhinelander Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Lauren Sackett announced today the second annual 715 campaign, encouraging locals and visitors to shop at Rhinelander businesses. This year we started the 715 pledge, that's our, our area code here, 715. So we're urging people to spend $15 at seven different businesses during the five week campaign. Local business owners are excited for the little extra boost, the potential at least to boost foot traffic in their stores. We were just down here today and we knew about Trisha's Treasures, but we didn't know about this one I just walked into or the one just down, you know, the street a little ways. So I think anything that would help bring people to downtown and have them see the um, diverse, you know, amount of shopping that they're trying to bring back to the community would be a great idea. For more information on the campaign, you can check out the Rhinelander Area Chamber of Commerce website. A central Wisconsin family is mourning the loss of their world record holding horse. We'll tell you all about Big Jake and how he's being remembered in just a few minutes. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 6. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Copy. 
Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will flow. Final on NBC. We're going to do some things we've never, ever done on the show before. Whoa! We are all going to give you something special. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Update your home's interior right now at Menards. Add style and privacy to any room with Window Images window treatments. Plus, get your blinds and shades trimmed to width for free. All window treatments are 11% off. Match your style with Dakota Shelving's beautiful selection of pre-finished square edge shelving. Great for storage or enhancing your living space. All Dakota Shelving is 11% off. Save with 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will flow. Welcome back, my friends. You and I get to chat weather for about four minutes. Hopefully your sunburn is not the color of my tie. Lots of sunshine out there today with temperatures back up near 90 in Rhinelander. Back to 85 right now. It's 73 for Antigo with a thunder shower last hour. But overall, very hazy, warm, and humid day across the area today. So here is our third 90-degree day this year. Compared against previous years through today's date, we had four by this time last year, zero in 2019, and six back in 2018. So we're right on track with that, right? All right, so it's also, as you know, incredibly humid outside. Dew points approaching 70 across the area today. That's not normal. That's like southern Florida kind of stuff. Um, it'll be uh, pulling back a bit, though, tomorrow and back a lot for us on Wednesday and Thursday. As that's the main story now, though, the heat today, highs near 90, incredibly humid, is going to take a break. Not tomorrow, but Wednesday. We could hold high temperatures in the 60s on Wednesday afternoon. So here's the future temperature forecast. You can see up and up and down until we get to Wednesday. A second cold front is going to come through, drop our temperatures throughout the day. And again, these are afternoon high temperatures on Wednesday, hanging out in the 60s. If we get some rain cool air across central Wisconsin on Wednesday, we could hold high temperatures in the 50s. And that's not normal uh, for middle early portions of July. The average is still 79. The record low is 37. Record high 93. So we just missed that today. Today. And the sun set now at 849. I know we're losing daylight already. Okay, so going forward, 78 tomorrow, then kind of falling through the afternoon. 65 is the forecast high for parts of the area on Wednesday. However, that could fall through the afternoon as well. And then right back up in the 70s, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Again, the average high being 79. We'll likely not do that much, like seven to eight days around here. But beyond that, looks warmer once again. Here's the problem. So front one is right over us right 
right now with a wind shift and a couple of thunder showers across the area. Now, that's going to push through tonight. And here are those thunder showers now. You can see across portions of Marathon County, over in Wapaka County, Portage County, Wood County as well. These have been non severe, except for over here in Escanaba. That one was severe a little bit ago. But overall, these will fade away with the sunset tonight. And then no worries after that for this evening. But then that's the secondary front. That's going to come over us tomorrow. And that's going to stall over central Wisconsin tomorrow. That's going to be the focus for potentially heavy rainfalls through the afternoon into tomorrow night, into Wednesday, and probably into Thursday morning as well. We have quite a bit of rainfall to get through. So here comes the second front now. That'll be in our backyards tomorrow. That's going to stall out for us over us. And then for a couple days now, we're going to have some rain showers in the forecast. That rain will begin to add up as well. You can see across the area, this is one model run, but basically eight models are saying, hey, you have at least an inch of rainfall coming your way between tomorrow morning and Wednesday afternoon. So a soaking rainfall is on the way. Our gardens will definitely like that after the heat this weekend. Okay, here's Elsa, and I have a tropical storm here, just exiting the coast of Cuba. It's going to move north and into the Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm, likely making landfall in Florida and moving up the east coast as a tropical low uh, with lots of rainfall for them. They also could use the rainfall. For us, though, tonight, partly cloudy skies. The storms out there now will end the next hour or two. Still kind of muggy, though, and maybe some dense fog, especially where it rained today with uh, low temperatures down near 63. For tomorrow, all right, so scattered showers and storms. Any of those storms could be locally strong to severe tomorrow. The bigger threat tomorrow, though, is going to be the potential for heavy rainfall, especially through the afternoon with high temperatures around 78 or so, but falling later in the day. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows that chance for rain tomorrow, a really good chance for rain tomorrow. Also, rain showers non-severe on Wednesday and a high of 65. Uh, Thursdays are a dry day at 72 before another system gets in here over the weekend with much cooler temperatures again in the 70s. Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. The number of new COVID-19 cases across Wisconsin continues to hold steady over the last few weeks at less than 100 per day. Today, the State Department of Health Services reports just 26 new cases. We're averaging 75 per day over the last week. DHS also reports one new death today. Statewide, we're averaging about one per day over the last week. Right now, DHS reports about 61.5% of all adults in Wisconsin have received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. Oneida County is the highest vaccination rate in our region. We're closing in on about two-thirds of all adults with at least one shot. Taylor County has the lowest vaccination rate, not just in our region, but in the state, with just over one-third of all adults with at least one dose. Six University of Wisconsin system schools are moving ahead with start dates for this fall, and they are starting on the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah, despite some calls for changes. UW-Madison, UW-La Crosse, Oshkosh, Parkside, Stout, and Superior all have scheduled classes to begin September 7th or 8th. Wisconsin State Journal reports the six campuses sent a letter to UW System President Tommy Thompson in June expressing varying levels of regret over this. Some Jewish professors and students have now decided they will likely miss the first day of class for that reason. Folks at a Wisconsin horse farm are grieving today after the world's tallest horse died. Big Jake, as he was known, stood nearly seven feet tall. He was a big part of his owner's lives. Tim Elliott reports. On this 85-acre plot of land in Poinette, Jerry Gilbert has his own personal piece of paradise. Closest to heaven as I'll ever get, yeah. <laughs> but a big piece of that paradise is missing. Well, there's uh, a huge void. You know, it feels like he's still here, but he's not. Big Jake was a big deal at Smoky Hollow Farm. Jake was just a special horse. He was truly a gentle giant. Sadly, Jake passed away at 20 years old just a few weeks ago. Very quiet. The other horses know. Um, you know, I, I think that they, they have their little grieving time because Jake was the center of attention of everything around here. Back in 2010, Jake became the Guinness World Record holder for tallest living horse. He held that record for 11 years. Big Jake was certified by the Guinness World Records. From his hooves to his shoulders, Jake stood a towering six foot, 10 inches and three quarters tall and weighed 2,500 pounds. We knew he was special. 
And whenever we would show him, people would just be taken back by him, his size and everything. But for Jerry, Big Jake was so much more than just a big horse. It's amazing what we do for these animals because they're like our children. You know, we care for them, we protect them, we're with them every single day. During his life well lived, Jake loved to entertain. My daughter and myself at the Wisconsin State Fair, and this would be Jake, he really knew how to work the crowd. You know, he'd come up to the fence and he'd power over everybody. But when that harness was off, Jake loved to play and take a snooze. Jake would take a nap at about 1 o'clock every day and he'd snore. And it was the funniest thing ever. Big Jake, a big horse with an even bigger personality that touched so many lives. Day to day, I think we'll always feel that Jake is still here. And I don't think that'll ever change. That's a huge horse. The Gilberts will honor Big Jake by retiring his stall, keeping it empty, putting in a brick on the outside with his name and picture. Search and rescue teams are again combing through the rubble of that condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. This comes following the demolition of what was left of the building. We'll have the latest details on the search there after the break. When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. Hi friends, Brian Gottlieb at Tundra Land Home Improvements, and today we're talking about how to design a safe and beautiful shower, and we're joined by Paul Lukowski. Paul, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Brian. Paul, we install a whole lot of baths and showers across the state of Wisconsin. What are some of the primary reasons people update their bathroom? Well, there's a few reasons, Brian, and I'd say the first one is safety, like that old tub that's hard to step in and over. Uh, you know, bathrooms just weren't designed with safety in mind. The second one would be beauty. You mean getting rid of those really old blue tubs? Yeah, or the avocado green, the harvest gold. People have beautiful homes, they have so much pride in them, and then you walk in their bathroom and it's just like, wow, this is out of date. And then lastly is cleaning. So when you say cleaning, what do you mean? Well, you know, the old technology out there, fiberglass tile, it's just really hard to clean. You don't want to spend your weekends doing that. Let's listen to Jennifer on that. I didn't have to worry about a thing, not cleaning up afterwards or anything. I couldn't be happier with my Tundraland bathroom. So let's talk about easy to clean. What makes a Tundraland bath or shower so super easy to clean? Well, Brian, it's our exclusive stay clean technology. The first thing is the materials. We put materials in your shower that nothing can stick to, so they're very easy to clean. And then we also have what we call Silver Shield technology. And what Silver Shield does is it's actually an antimicrobial. So nothing can ever grow, no mold, no mildew. So if you want to spend your weekends having fun rather than cleaning your shower, that Tundraland shower is for you. Sounds perfect. Folks, Tundraland has some very exciting offers. Take a look. Hey, Northeast Wisconsin, what a great time to get a new bath or shower. From Door County, Green Bay, Oshkosh, all the way down to Fond du Lac, homeowners love their new Tundraland shower. And now is the best time to save. Get half off installation on your new bath in a free $100 Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. That's right, get half off installation with a free $100 Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. The search for survivors and victims of the condo collapse in Surfside, Florida is back on today. Overnight, a demolition team brought down the part of the building that was still standing. After rescue teams were able to search that new section of rubble, they discovered, they discovered three more bodies, bringing the number of confirmed dead now to 27. 118 more still remain unaccounted. Chris Pallone has the latest from Florida. Day 12 in the search for victims, and now the entire Champlain Tower South Complex has been reduced to rubble. Deemed too dangerous to leave standing with Tropical Storm Elsa headed towards South Florida, demolition experts brought the remaining structure down in a matter of seconds late Sunday night. After a pause of more than a day, search and rescue teams were back on the pile minutes after the dust settled. This pile closest to the building was actually holding the building up. And so therefore it was not safe to do uh, search activities on that part of the pile. 
The implosion is giving searchers access to parts of the debris they haven't explored yet as they try to recover all the people who are missing. We're looking for voids again where uh, someone uh, may have been able to um, be inside. Despite long odds that anyone could have survived the collapse for this long, local officials are still calling it a search and rescue operation, signaling their hope that someone will be found alive. In my opinion, there should be no talk about anything but rescue, and that is the 100% focus of everybody who's on that site. Things are buzzing, the heavy equipment is working, the teams are up on the pile, they are digging, they are searching. The threat from the remaining building and Elsa now diminished. Rescue teams want to accelerate the search as they and anxious families hold out hope for a miracle. Chris Pallone, NBC News. As victims continue to be unaccounted for in that debris, state's chief financial officer sending out a warning to anyone who wants to donate money toward relief efforts. Officials say the Volunteer Florida website is the state-sponsored and safest way to donate money to the families of the victims of that tragedy. To avoid scams, the Federal Trade Commission says to block unwanted calls and texts, never give out personal or financial information in response to a request you did not expect, Resist the pressure to act immediately. Legitimate businesses give you time. And before you give, talk to someone you trust. They may help you realize if you are dealing with a scam. We'll be right back. Celebrating the big stuff together. Getting back to business. More sleepovers. We all have a reason to get fully vaccinated. What's yours? Get your COVID-19 vaccine at vaccines.gov. Has the pandemic interrupted your routine health care? Our exceptional team at the Lackby Desire Health Center is determined to get you back on track. Our comprehensive primary care services include disease management, women's health, preventative care, and more. The convenience of our walk-in clinic is available when your family needs it the most. Full access to our on-site x-ray and lab services to expedite your care. Our friendly team is excited to meet you, and we are conveniently located in the Elison Realty Building at the intersection of Highway 45 and 70. I used to drive an ambulance as an EMT, and I've always tried to be a safe driver. If people knew what I know, lives could be saved. In my car, if I see a truck or bus taking a turn, I know to take my time. When big vehicles turn right, they may swing wide to make the turn. If you try to sneak in, well, it's a lesson you'd rather not learn the hard way. When trucks and buses turn, let's you and I wait. It's our roads, it's our safety. Sullivan's Log Home Restoration and Remodel is your choice for log home maintenance, guaranteeing you a beautiful looking home. Sullivan's does their own milling and specializes in log replacements, sandblasting, staining, and chinking. With more than 30 years of business, Sullivan's is dependable and trustworthy, carefully tending to every detail on your home. Call us today for your free on-site estimate, Sullivan's Log Home Restoration and Remodel, serving Eagle River and the surrounding areas. Looking for a better way to cool off this summer? Start with a trip to Wickersham Jewelry and receive a free Yeti cooler with your purchase of $1,500 or more during their Super Summer Jewelry event, June 28th through July 10th. Wickersham's has hundreds of engagement rings, wedding bands, earrings, bracelets, and necklaces in every style and gemstone. Take advantage of interest-free financing. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems from the world's best softener and safer drinking water systems, no one filters more than Culligan Water. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan Water, the local water experts. Huge online auction, Rhinelander, Wisconsin, 150 firearms, ammo, collector car, trucks, trailers, UTV, golf cart, tools, home contents, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. We'll be able to watch a Stevens Point native play in the Stanley Cup final tonight right here on WJFW. Cole Caulfield, the Montreal Canadiens, host the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight at 7. The Habs trail the best of seven series, three games to none. So they need a win tonight to extend it. Caulfield as a rookie, third on the Canadiens in points this postseason with four goals and six assists. Good luck to him. 
Okay, outside now, here's the Mackinac Bridge. Some haze and smoke in the air from wildfires across yeah. parts of Canada. Uh, air quality is still okay, but keep an eye on this tonight. If you have asthma or allergies, it uh, could play a factor. Uh, temperatures, though, other factor here in the 80s to low 90s today. Tomorrow, back up near 80, but then some big changes are on the way. A couple of storms out there still across parts of Marathon, about to enter Portage County. These are all non-severe. Heavy rainmakers, though, uh, working into parts of Portage County now, went through Anigo earlier and Elko with a heavier thunder shower. But then look what happens. So it's all going to go through tomorrow and then rain showers tomorrow night through Wednesday and high temperatures back in the 60s on Wednesday afternoon. Big changes. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining us on News Watch 12 at 6. Wheel of Fortune's next. We'll see you back here tonight at 10 or after the game with more.